everyone, it's Kayla here and today I'm sharing a layout and a process video for UK Scrap Addicts. Um, <clears throat> the background I had already pre-made before. Um, I actually made it just because I wanted to. Um, I didn't know what I'd use it for. Um, and then I decided that it was actually perfect for this photo of TJ and Dorsey, um, which was taken on Christmas Jumper Day last year. So I thought, oh, well, it works really well because um, it looks like a Christmas jumper. So unfortunately, I don't have any footage of me creating this background, um, but I'll try and do something similar in the future um, so you can see how this sort of um, background comes together. Um, it was quite easy to do. Um, I used a Paige Evans cup file as a template. And then um, I poked all my holes um, and then started stitching. Um, it did take a long time to um, to make. Um, it took me over, I think, three days in total on and off um, to do the holes and the, the stitching. So anyway, on UK Scrap Addicts this month, our theme is embossing folders. Now, I've... I'm, I've never used embossing folders before on a scrapbook page. I didn't even know if I had any. Um, I went through some old supplies um, and old things that my mum gave me from her card making days and I found some embossing folders and this um, embossing machine. So I pulled that out to use today. Um, I did phone my mum and tell her that I was so grateful that she'd give me these um, because I didn't want to have to buy something that I don't necessarily use. Um, but I actually really love how, how this turned out. So I've decided to create a tag. Um, I cut out the tag beforehand and ran it through the machine. Um, and I'm going to have it peeking at the top of my photos. Now, I've used some red cardstock here. Um, and I thought I was going to go with the red tag. I do change my mind shortly um, and switch it out for a green one. So I'll make it again um, in green cardstock instead. <coughs> now, I've not wasted this one. It's gone back in with my kit that I'm using, which is the Scrap Squad 12 Days of Christmas kit um, from our event at the beginning of the month. Um, I'm going to add some twine into my tag. I like to finish them off with some twine. Um, and this twine's lovely. It's got some gold in it as well, which works really well with the kit. So yeah, so this is my embossed, um, embossing folders project for this layout. Um, so I've created this tag and I'm going to tuck it in um, behind my photo. Now I've already um, added a frame onto the page. Um, these frames from Simple Stories are huge. Um, when they, they arrived, I thought they're like the size of my page near, <laughs> near enough. Um, so I do have to, I've been cutting them down and tucking them in behind embellishments and the photo and things. And it's a great way to use up um, frames and things that you might think are too big for your layout or too big for your photo. So I've tucked in a frame there. And now I'm starting to bring in some embellishments. I've pulled out some um, Christmas jumpers um, from the kit. Um, I haven't used any of these on a layout yet, so I was pleased to use two up on this page. Um, I've also got a little sticker at the top there which says sweaters, um, which again, really fit in for a Christmas jumper day photo. Um, I'm playing around with uh, this little snow globe here with a snowman in, I quite like that. Um, and I'm also cutting out now some trees, which these are from the sticker book, uh, which was one of the add-ons for the kit. Um, and I find that they're quite flimsy, the stickers. And obviously, because I've got such a textured background, I would not be able to stick any, any of these stickers on top of that background. So I attached these to some white cardstock, which I've mentioned quite a few times um, throughout this month. Um, and then I fussy cut them out, which is quite easy to do. Um, I've not found any of them too tricky to fussy cut out. So I'm just um, playing around with some embellishments and deciding where I want them to go on the page. I have decided I'm gonna keep 
um, my photo and embellishments all in one cluster where they are on the page and that's just because I don't want to cover up too much of um, my background um, it did take a long time to create and um, at first I wasn't sure if I was going to put it in a frame maybe or um, not use it for a layout at all because of the fact that it did take so long and I didn't want to cover it up but I thought you know, it's just going to end up getting lost or set aside if I don't use it. So, um, you know, it just works so well for this page. Um, and by adding the photo and all the embellishments to one area, um, you're still able to see um, most of the stitching. Um, now, the stitching is in matching colours to the kit. Um, like I said, I wasn't sure what I wanted to use it for when I created it. So I did base my colour choices on the colours in the kit. Um, <clears throat> but, like I said, I didn't really have a layout in mind when I started creating it. Um, I kind of wish I'd thought a bit further ahead um, to what I'd use it for. Um, so I could have had some footage for that, but unfortunately, um, my brain obviously wasn't working on that day. Now for my title, um, I've been on an embossing kick lately, um, and I've been using my silhouette to cut out words um, in white cardstock, and then heat embossing them in tinsel gold embossing powder. Um, and I really like how most of my titles match um, throughout my Christmas photos. Um, and the fact that I'm using up something that I've had in my stash for quite some time, um, even though I don't think I'll ever use up a full tub of embossing powder. <laughs> um, but it's nice using up some supplies that I generally forget that I have. Um, so my title is going to be Christmas Jumper Day. So I've got the um, heat embossed word Christmas. I've also embossed some um, gold um, well, not gold, some hearts as well um, in the gold to match. Um, so I've used both kinds of embossing really on this page. I've used um, embossing folders and heat embossing as well. So I'm going to attach that to the bottom under my photograph using glue. Again, because my background is so textured, um, I do struggle for it to get it to stay. Um, I think I need yeah put something heavy on top just to get it to stick. Um, and once the glue gets quite tacky, um, there's no reason for it to move. So, um, so it works out really well. So I'm just sticking down the heart. So I've got the sparkly gold throughout the page. <coughs> um, I'm not quite sure what I'm doing. Oh, I'm adding my dot. I think above um um uh, the word at. Uh, the word um, above the eye in Christmas and now I'm flicking through the sticker book again um, I love these sticker books by Simple Stories I think you get so much um, for your money um, and I'm going to write the word uh, jumper day to finish off my title and I'm going to use the um, the tile stickers for this um, in the red um, and that's another good thing about these sticker books as well. You do get some um, alphabets and things to use which coordinate with the collection. Um, I thought I would have cut this out instead of making you watch me stick down all these tiles, but obviously not. Um, but I do really love tile stickers um, because you can, um, you know, usually I'll do like a one word title maybe two where by using different um alphabets and different fonts and things you can um create a bit of a longer title than you necessarily would um even though christmas jumper day isn't that big of a title but it's quite big for me um so i'm going i've stuck those down onto some white card stock and then i'll cut them out and then distress the edges so it matches in with the other things that I've distressed on the page and then I'll stick those down under the word Christmas. So fiddling about with something there. What am I doing? Oh I'm distressing the edges. Um I need to move further up I think on my screen. I tend to pull things towards me um, and forget that I'm filming. Um, so it shows right at the bottom of my screen um, which gets covered up <laughs> by the recording thing. So I can't see what I'm doing, um, so I need to try and remember that when I'm recording to move further up the screen 
um, and rather than bringing things closer to me. Um, so yeah, so that's the layout more or less finished. It's a really simple page um, if you take away the stitching, obviously. Um, and I'm really happy with how it turned out. Um, please do join us on UK Scrap Addicts this month, um, sharing layouts you've used um, embossing folders on. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.